G'day girls and boys, I just thought I'd do a quick video on the current state of things. This is my prototype multi-driver compression driver with a um, newly improved outlet or some people call it a throat on a single compression driver driver and all that's just made of common um, crafty ha household materials it's still following a lot of principles that uh, acoustically um, uh, arriving us to a solution of a point source sound system with low distortion and instead of using a single driver I've been um, developing my ideas through this uh, four-way sail so inside this unit you'll see a three inch driver here that's kind of the um, face plate up here let's put that light on so it's like a three inch dome and inside there is a super tweeter uh, facing directly sort of directly through the throat and there's a, another one inch driver a bit further down and a, a two inch and a, of course the three inch as well so been building this just like I said temporarily proof of concept prototype and the shape of this baffle was really just based around me f just trying to fill the spaces um, and it's also kind of acting as another kind of diffraction wave guide you could say the sound propagates in this direction and is maybe forming off this and it's good having this asymmetrical lip to prevent all kinds of um, baffle step uh, interactions where you'll get um, a lot of cancelling but I'm hoping the direct sound is um, more influential than uh, secondary sounds and diffraction sounds um, and comb filtering is not a worry with this uh, four-way sail because I'm using linear phase crossovers and I'm also using time domain corrections on all four drivers so that um, there is no there's nothing out of phase in any of the uh, acoustical crossover of any of the drivers so it's basically acting as one driver um what else yeah now i was gonna talk about i was experimenting with adding a horn uh, to the outlet of this throat and once upon a time i didn't have this and i just had a, a bear hole and i was trying various different things and i was plugging them into here and I would, I would do a retune, you can go back half a dozen videos or so um, getting phase balance, spectral balance, magnitude and then uh, comparing them uh, to the open throat to this horn also uh, I tried this one recently and I found this one pretty good and I also tried a cup shape uh, horn experiments and then I was just trying to find some adapters as I was changing them all around. Let's try some lighting. And I did a quick phase tune and magnitude tune on, on just the throat alone. This is a new kind of harder throat instead of the uh, felt opening. And stage depth uh, just immediately locked out further. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a, in a minute. But more importantly, the, the sides of the stage depth had also gone further uh, past the throat in, um, on the left and right. Whereas when I tuned with just this uh, tiny little flange, which did improve um, Super Tweeter at the time depth, um, it still had this uh, curve. Some people might... I refer to it as kind of a rainbow effect, but more when they say that they're more about uh, talking about stage height. But I also believe there's kind of a rainbow in stage depth. So with the uh, little horns, I would get in front of the driver, 
So just imagine. Uh, let's go to one angle. So there's the driver. And there's kind of in front, like maybe just a hand width in front. And I was getting pretty good depth when I tuned it properly. Let's just say above the, the motion uh, light sensor here. And you can see, see that, you know, the mid left, right, uh, left center. Was, so you end up with a curve of stage depth. And then going back to, to mid right and uh, curving all the way back in front of the 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 right driver i'm not going to walk over there at the moment but um yeah then when i took this out and just used the the new plastic throat and i, I immediately uh noticed my stage steps was you know i'm mean, just using my driver line of sight it was just gone i mean you can kind of say you know oh, it's out past the bonnet but Realistically, I'd just say end of glass. It's a, it's a big it's a big piece of glass. But more importantly, this depth rainbow, uh, the mid right, and the right, more like the speakers were disappearing more, and um, hard panned instruments, or even like that important like ninety percent region where things are never hard pan unless you're being a real bitch of an engineer um, so things that would naturally appear like in acoustic or live recordings you know there's a far bongo player or a, you know something a guitarist or piano they normally throw sometimes they throw them out but it was more like this so I'm talking about a plane like this um, this is just illustrating so a vertical plane in front of the listener um, where the extremities fell behind the um, the point source drivers, so <clears throat> that's where I got with that. And I'd also been uh, trying to improve my ability to measure phase and set phase by using um, more measurement microphones. Yeah, so when I say more. Uh, had two specific measurement microphones and had whatever I had in the cupboard, uh, these dynamic um, vocal microphones. So yeah, um, I set them up in a bit of a, a rig and um, kept them all as a cluster and all in a vertical plane as if you could draw a line from the middle of your eyeballs to your chin, just trying to get that um, the hook up because when you're measuring phase you get a lot of squiggles. And if you can have two different mics at two different points, um, the squiggles can make more sense. And you can also average the plots in smart, rational acoustics smart. So that was pretty cool. And I'm even thinking of getting two more so I can get away, uh, ditch these guys and just have four of these, make clusters, and make better measurements. Because for every time you improve your measurements, you can get further and further stage depth, more accuracy. So, it's about the end of this update. So, yeah, um, that is the end, and I'll just uh, mention that one day I'm going to be fully enclosing these and making them airtight. But at the moment, I'm 95% happy. It's um, the best sound ever, or the best rest ever, as they use in a commercial here for shaving. Anyway, we'll catch you later. See ya.